What's up everybody, it's your coach. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna discuss my favorite glove with your most frequently asked questions in beautiful Miami, Florida. Summertime here in Miami. Let's go. Let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hug. This ain't a phone. Grind never We're talking gloves. We're talking my favorite glove. I'm, I'm fortunate to have a lot of pieces, but of all the pieces I have, this is my favorite one here. It's an 11 and a half Heart of the Hide Rawlings I Love Pro Coach HP model. If you see it says it right there. Never in my life would uh, left to use an 11 and a half glove as an adult. This is, uh, I call it the Frankenstein glove because it was hacked, it was built, customized for me. I took an infield glove and I turned it to a lefty glove uh, wingtip and I love it. I love the segue, I love the black strap there. I love the logo. One of my favorite things about this glove is with my other gloves that I forgot to do is there's this gold trimming you can add when you customize the glove that to me is just beautiful. And I, and I have it in silver, but this is the only glove that I have it in gold, and I love it. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, Coach, how do you store the glove? You see a lot of emphasis in the videos and the comments about storing. When you store your glove, you wanna store it like this, guys. So you wanna put it like this. Parents, be careful with your young kids and your teenagers throwing the glove in their bag. You don't wanna do that. You wanna have it out so when you're done using it, you carry your glove and you carry it with you. That's super important. You don't want your glove to get moist, it's a sweat. We sweat a lot, especially if you're in places like Miami where it's super hot, you sweat a lot. And then that moisture makes the glove heavy, it ruins the shape, and we don't want to spend a lot of time in this shape. So we wanna keep that for the glove. Okay, another frequently asked question is the mallet. Coach, a mallet, where do I get a mallet? How much is a mallet? I don't have a mallet, anything other than a mallet. So let's answer mallet questions, mallet questions. Number one, a mallet is super easy to get. Rawlings.com, Dix.com, Amazon, whatever. 19 bucks, 19 bucks, you get it shipped to you. They're amazing. Obviously you've seen Nick use his custom mallet where he took a baseball, put it at the end of this, and it was a metal, getting killed by mosquitoes here. It was with a metal rod, which is even more aggressive, but this is the classic mallet right here. You did see us use... I don't know what that was. You did see us use a dumbbell for the catcher's mitt, because catcher's mitts are a little aggressive. That's a different thing. Standard gloves like this, a mallet is perfectly fine. So mallet, super easy to find, super easy to get ship them to you. I think they make softball ones which have the, the end a little bit bigger. A replacement for mallet is a dumbbell. Now you won't have the crisp smooth thing, but it will give you the same effect. So get your mallet. All right, so I'm out here in the water because I get asked so many questions about water. So gotta put the water in the background. Coach, when you wet the glove, what are we doing? Are we boiling the water? Are we dipping it in water? How many times the water? Does the water make the glove heavy? No way, it's gonna make the glove too heavy. Never wet a glove. What are you doing? You're drowning the glove. Let's get into that. Number one, when you wet the glove, like this, guys, like this, you never want the part that your hand goes into like that. So we do not dunk it in water. Don't dunk it in water. Keep it like this. Number two, the water, keep it as hot so steaming hot, huh? not boiling hot, huh? just steaming hot, huh? that it changes the color of the leather. See this leather right here? Light gray, so you wait for it to be a darker gray, and that's it, you stop. So it's probably, I've timed it maybe 20 seconds, maybe a little bit more with a heavier catcher's mitt or something, but like 20 seconds of water and you're fine. No more than that. Don't be scared of the water, it doesn't need to be boiling water, just hot water. It does not change the weight of the glove. A lot of people say that it does, it doesn't. We've weighed it. In fact, we're gonna do a video where we're gonna put a scale so you can see it before and after. Same weight, that's how you weigh your glove. Straight from the Amazon here, Miami. Let's talk glove pocket. How deep should the pocket be? Where should it be? So, in instance, I, before I even started doing this, I always thought you caught the ball right in that part right there, right? 
but no we do not actually you want let me show you guys here you want to start your pocket this is how you want your pocket not very high right there in that middle part because that's where we have the most support to catch the ball so pocket goes right there in the bottom part you don't want to do it too high and obviously you don't want to do it too low another frequently asked question is coach when should i buy one of these expensive gloves for my kid my kid's an all-star he loves it i want to give him a gift to have an awesome glove this whole thing take your time take your time because remember as kids you get used to your glove and breaking these things in is a process even if you do ours which is one day kids get very accustomed to their glove and god forbid they drop a ball during a game with a new glove and that's very difficult so try to avoid transitioning to a new glove during season can every kid be comfortable with his older one and yes the better leather the harder it is to manipulate the harder it is to break in but once you've broken it in it's like everything in life you'll be happy with your amazing new glove Finally, a lot of people ask me coach the customizing of the glove how difficult is it i want to do this i want to do that i see your gloves can i get a logo can i not get a logo let's talk about glove customizing this is my favorite glove that i've customized i love the gold that i put in it hold on a little mosquito action here i love the gold action that i put in it that's sweet i customize this so i call it my frankenstein glove this glove is a hack, meaning I hacked this glove, I customized it. This is actually an infielder's glove that I turned into a lefty glove for me to use. One of the negative things, the only negative thing I can think of about this glove is I'm not used to catching with a glove this short because I'm a first baseman. The way I catch it, it stings my hand a lot when I warm up, especially with older dudes I know that could really throw it. So that's the only difficult thing about using a glove you're not used to. This is an 11 and a half. I'm used to using a 13 inch first baseman because I was a first baseman. But I love this glove. This is the best glove I think I've ever had. I love this. It's sick. Another question I get asked, Coach, why does your glove have the MLB logo? I have a Rawlings one and it doesn't have my MLB logo. Well, about, I think it's two years now, Rawlings became the official glove of the MLB. They had the baseballs, they have the helmets, and now they got the gloves. So now, as before as you see it on other gloves, now you see it on the piece and you can customize it and this one i customize the logo to black and white versus the traditional one which is beautiful the red white and blue so yeah you can customize even the logo boom there we go guys thank you so much for the love thank you so much for supporting at the end of the day this is for you guys any questions let me know i got my boy who's the head of glove of rawlings that always is there for any questions i got my boy nick that's also there for any questions you guys have i appreciate it please comment below any questions i respond to every comment i'll get back to you subscribe if you're into positivity if you're into the happy things in life right here's the spot that started it all my first glove review of how to break it in i did it right here we did it two years ago check that video out it's over 250 i think thousand views which is awesome we've helped so many people it's your coach from beautiful miami florida Remember, at the end of the day, no matter what happens, no matter what glove you get or what position you play, please continue to go hard and do your thing.